Uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be uh, chilly though, though I think that might be inside. Okay, well, it's going to be chilly, it's going to be snowy, it's going to be wintry, and actually we're dealing with some snow right now. Look at that satellite radar behind mm -hmm. me, Matt. shows oh. quite a lot of widespread moisture all over the Treasure Valley, even hitting the Magic Valley. The Central Mountains are going to be seeing the most action today, but taking a look at uh, Garrity Boulevard right now, I can show you just what that looks like on the ground. Look at how thick that cloud cover is. Traffic is seeing extreme slowdowns right now on the western side of the Treasure Valley due to all this snow and a minor accident being reported and police halfway in between Nampa and Meridian on I-84. So if you can wait a little bit to get out the door and head on your morning commute, you might want to take that time because it's looking like significant delays due to all that snow and you can really see it coming down in that shot. Now we are set to continue to see that snow, but what we're also dealing with is some windy conditions. 25 mile per hour wind being clocked in Caldwell right now. 16 mile per hour wind in Boise. That's set to continue as that wind moves through that I-84 corridor. Now we do have a winter storm watch in effect for Owyhee County as well as Eastern Oregon, but here in central Idaho where we're dealing with that winter storm warning, a couple of feet of snow is expected in those higher elevations because of this system, and that's going to be lasting all the way through Friday morning, so travel is going to be difficult in those mountain areas. Now by the time we hit uh, later today, we're still going to be dealing with that system, although it's going to be coming down in the form of rain here in the Treasure Valley. You can see that green color that indicates that we're not going to be seeing as much snow, more of that rain snow mix. Now the central mountains, however, they're just going to continue to see that snowy action. So it's really going to feel like Christmas up towards our north. Now, by the time we hit Friday, isolated snow showers is really all that's going to be left behind. But we're going to continue to see a chance of snow all the way through the weekend here on the western side of the state. Just how much snow, you might ask? Well, four to eight inches expected there in Idaho City by the time we hit Friday afternoon, eight to 12 inches in Pine. So it's going to be quite significant. But today we're looking at about a 40% chance of precipitation, especially in the earlier hours in the Treasure Valley. Temperatures eventually warming up into the mid 40s, so definitely above freezing. And here's a look at that extended forecast. We're going to see even more rain and snow tomorrow with a 70% chance of that precipitation, a high of 40 degrees. Then we cool down due to a cold front that's going to hit us tomorrow. Temperatures are going to cool back down to the low 30s to round out the weekend.